Hello, Mr. Gorodnik. How are you doing today? I'm well, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you for being my mentor, by the way. No problem. Okay. Uh, I do have a few questions to ask you. And uh, the first question I have is, uh, what concepts of physics does the hovercraft cover? The hovercraft covers basically the entire first half of the year in dynamics. You could you, We use it for kinematics, which is basically the study of motion. We used it to figure out the final velocity at the bottom of the hill as it went down a hill. Speaking of hills, it covers inclines, it covers Newton's, all three of Newton's laws, first, second, and third. Uh, it does cover a little bit of fluid mechanics, although we don't get into it. Definitely covers friction, incline planes, a lot of trig, a lot of math. You can even do it in terms of energy. So anything from the beginning of the year, except for circular motion, is included in this. Okay. Uh, although most hovercrafts consist of the same layout, there are different types of, there's different ways to make a hovercraft, such as like the different materials. And um, the question is, what do you think is the best way to construct a homemade hovercraft? If I were to make a homemade hovercraft, I'd want it to be as lightweight as possible, so that it could support our mass as best as it can. Uh, I would definitely, I'd want to make it a somewhat of a wide stance, so that it's better balanced. I'd put more of the mass around the outside of the uh, of the hovercraft, so that it doesn't rotate or tilt uh, too easily. And I would want to make sure that the tarp underneath, or whatever the, the cushion you're riding in on, is is very strong. And if it should break, that it's easy to replace. But yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, after reviewing my hovercraft, my homemade hovercraft, do you have any pros and cons with it? With yours, um, I probably would have used a less dense wood to, to lower the mass. Okay. I would have also put more than one um, area for the air to enter, so it's a little bit more evenly distributed. I may have hooked up the leaf blower to PVC pipe and then put that in two holes so that you get air, or maybe even four holes, but you get air on different sides at the same time. Okay. Um, and the other, uh, the only other con with that was that yours goes a little high as it bubbles up, so your center of mass is high and it's easier to tilt over. In general, uh, uh, you know, a con with, with the hovercrafts that we build is that you can't steer them and yeah. you can't stop them and they just go down hills. So that's that but well unless I, someone pushes you unless somebody pushes you of course which is fun uh the pros though i mean you got yours to work it's it's it, you have a strong leaf blower so it can lift a lot of mass it looks good the rider on top of it also a good looking elephant so that's good too all right thank you for your time mr grodnick my pleasure